عنهم هيلا According to Sayyidna Ali The believers guardian and wali The one whose eyes since he was a child Were filled with eternal delight From gazing upon Muhammad بلغ العلا بكماله كشف الدجا بجماله حسن الجميع خصاله صلوا عليه وآله اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آله وسلم He was neither tall nor short He was right in the middle between both His hair was not straight nor curly But in between and wavy His head was neither large nor small His face was round and light brown This is the description of Prophet بلغ العلا بكماله كشف الدجا بجماله حسن الجميع خصاله صلوا عليه وآله اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آله وسلم His eyes were large and black His eyelashes were long and thick His bones were large with broad shoulders His body hair was well placed and in order With a thin line of hair from chest to belly His hands and feet were thick and strong This is the description of Prophet بلغ العلا بكماله كشف الدجا بجماله حسن الجميع خصاله صلوا عليه وآله اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آله وسلم When he walked, he walked briskly As if walking down an incline When he turned to look at a person With his full body he would turn Between his shoulders rested the seal And he is the seal of prophets This is the description of prophets He had the most generous hands His heart with no limits expands He was the most truthful of people And the softest amongst them in nature He was the noblest of his kind Through his bloodline The noblest in all of creation This is the description of Prophet بلغ العلا بكماله كشف الدجا بجماله حسن الجميع خصاله صلوا عليه وآله اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آله وسلم When they saw him at first they feared him Once they got to know him they loved him Those who tried to describe him Would often say about him We have not seen, we have yet to see Anyone who resembles he This is the description of Prophet بلغ العلا بكماله كشف الدجا بجماله حسن الجميع خصاله صلوا عليه وآله اللهم صل على 
محمد وعلى آله وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عدد من صلى عليه وصل على سيدنا محمد عدد من لم يصل عليه وصل على سيدنا محمد أضعاف ما صل عليه اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد الفاتح لما أغرق والخاتم لما سبق ناصر الحق بالحق والهادي إلى سراتك المستقيم وعلى آله حق قدره ومقداره العظيم الله الله بلغ العلا بكماله كشف الدجا بجماله حسنت جميع خصاله صلوا عليه وآله Your Nabi is الإنسان الكامل سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم is سيد الخلق He is the master of all of creation. That creation, not only humans, not only jinn, not only animate and inanimate objects of creations, not only uh, angels, uh, arsh, even heaven. It is said that Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's grave, maqam, Uh, shrine is the holiest in all of creation the holiest place in all of creation it is the holiest it is a, that place is a rawda of maryad al-jannah but it is the holiest and the most honored place in jannah also and this is by consensus of ulama of ahl sunnah wal jama'ah since prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam until our time so Our intention in these events is to come here and to actually Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad to bring our understanding to match the reality of our faith. Because just like a, a, a GPS, if you don't have the right uh, ordinance, the right address, you are going to miss your target. And the problem with Muslims nowadays in general, you can you can tie all their problems and ailments to the fact that we have missed our targets in terms of our belief in Sayyidina Muhammad, in Anbiya, in all prophets and messengers. Our belief is not uh, fitting the reality that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has granted and the honor Allah has granted to his prophets and the power and abilities that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have, have, has granted to his anbiya in general and to Sayyidul anbiya Because of that, because we have uh, been poisoned to believe in things that are not true, and that is regarding our Prophet, this is why we are experiencing what we are experiencing in terms of our decline, uh, which you know decline in the physical realm is is a is a symptom of the ailment of actually our spiritual decline our lack of spirituality lack of taste lack of love we are now uh, seeing that in the world around us so allahumma salli ala sayyidina muhammad when allahumma salli ala sayyidina muhammad if you can do this you can do it upstairs please I'm talking right now. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Why is it, what is the problem with our aqidah as Muslims in regards to our Prophet Sallallahu We are going to speak about Isra and Ma'raj tonight. And Isra and Ma'raj tonight is the greatest example of how Muslims should believe regarding the messengers in general and regarding Sayyid al-Mursaleen, Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu This is our, the correct aqidah of Ahl sunnah wal jama'ah. In this, in this happening, in the story of this happening, you will see that the reality of uh, uh, whether prophets are alive or whether prophets are contained or, are, or have any abilities, You will see through this story clear examples that leave no doubt as to how we should be thinking about our prophets in general. But before that, I would like to introduce, to lighten the, the gathering, 
we start with some praise of Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu that always brings light to our gatherings and uh, tonight we have with us a mashallah a very accomplished uh, lover of Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam who's been who's been granted that honor to praise him for a long time now uh, Sayyidina Adir Khan is a Canadian singer songwriter and arts educator with a specific focus on traditional and contemporary Islamic devotional Sufi music, devotional slash Sufi music. Over the last 25 years, he toured and, perform, toured and performed in Canada, United States, South Africa, United Kingdom, Norway, West Indies, Australia, Malaysia, and Singapore in solo performances and on tours with other international re renowned artists. Uh, Sidi Nader has also spearheaded various social justice initiatives that promote local, international, or almost local and international uh, initiatives, justice initiatives, relief efforts, uh, and relief efforts through uh, Islamic devotional music, art, youth engagement, and inspiration. The list goes on, and he's uh, too humble to have me continue because I, I think he's messaging me saying it's too long. So before, <laughs> before, <laughs> without further ado, as they say, we bring uh, CD Nader, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, Sayyidi. How are you doing? Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. We are in Rajab. We are coming together tonight to praise Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allahu Akbar. We, it's a great na'mah, alhamdulillah. And mashallah, you, you, have, you have been granted that honor to be a, a maddah al-Nabi, to be somebody who honors him, who praises Sayyidina Muhammad. So we don't honor Sayyidina Muhammad. We praise him and we get honored. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It's... it's uh... It's it's an honor to uh, it's it's a pleasure it's a real pleasure to hear your voice and see your face. God bless the face, mashallah. It's, pleasure uh, is ours too. Uh, as 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 far as honoring the Prophet sallam and being a, a, a you know somebody who praises him is concerned, this is definitely a um, a uh, an aspiration. And may Allah make your description, you know, true that eventually we become people who truly praise him. Um, I mean, I and uh, but you know, keep us in your dua. This is uh, this is a beautiful time to connect and to get together. And uh, it is really interesting how you know, inshallah, we have people logging in from around the world, and we know about the hadith about these angels who circle the earth to look for gatherings of liquor no. and, and sit around them. I wonder how they're doing it. You know, when we're doing this online on the internet, like how are they circling this gathering? Right. No. <laughs> Allahu Akbar, this is amazing that they, you know you have these angels who are circling this gathering and I'm wondering how are they doing that on the internet? SubhanAllah. SubhanAllah. Uh, uh, inshallah, inshallah it's, it's happening in a beautiful way. Um, and with your permission, I'll begin. They're, 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 they don't, uh, angels, uh, they're, they're circling, uh, inshallah, our souls and spirits, all those who praise Allah, Allah. Allah, 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 Allah. 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 See, we 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 are uh, uh, looking forward to hearing inshallah your uh, beautiful nasheed and madih sidi allahumma salli ala sayyidina muhammad al fatih lima ughlaq wal khatim lima sabaq nasir al haqq bil haqq wal hadi ila siratik al mustaqim wa ala ali haqq qadri wa miqdari al azim han apucho रात खिलवत में मुझे क्या क्या नजर आया न पूछो रात खिलवत में मुझे क्या क्या नजर आया पलक झप की तो कमली ओढ़ने वाला नजर आया न पूछो हजारों साल देखा था जिसे जिबरील ने अक्सर 
हजारों साल देखा था जिसे जिबरील ने अक्सर रसूल अल्लाह के माथे पे वो तारा नजर आया न पूछो नजर डाली जो फेरिस्ते गुलामान मुहम्मद पर कोई ख्वाजा नजर आया कोई दाता नजर आया न पूछो नहीं मालूम के मेराज की रात किसने क्या देखा द रेफरेंस इज न पूछो रात खिलवत में मुझे क्या क्या नजर आया डोंट आस्क मी व्हाट आई वाज इनविजन लास्ट नाइट इन माय खलवा रसूल अल्लाह के माथे पे वो ने पलक झपकी तो कमली ओढ़ने वाला नजर आया ब्लिंक माय आईज एंड आई इनविजन द वन हु रैप्ड अप इन द इन 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 हिज इन हिज इन हिज इन हिज ब्लैंकेट इन हिज शॉल एंड देन दिस पर्टिकुलर वर्स ही सेज नहीं मालूम के मेराज की रात किसने क्या देखा सेज इट इज नॉट नोन दैट ऑन द नाइट ऑफ द मेराज हु सॉ एग्जैक्टली वॉट नहीं मालूम के मेराज की रात किसने क्या देखा नबी को क्या नजर आया खुदा को क्या नजर आया नबी को क्या नजर आया इट इज नॉट नोन हु सॉ वॉट ऑन द नाइट ऑफ द मेराज वॉट एग्जैक्टली वॉज इट दैट द प्रॉफिट वॉज गेजिंग अपॉन वॉट एग्जैक्टली वॉज इट दैट अल्लाह वॉज गेजिंग अपॉन नबी को क्या नजर आया खुदा को क्या नजर आया न पूछो रात खिलवत में मुझे क्या क्या नजर आया न पूछो सल्ली रब्बी आला नबी ahmad salli rabbi ala nabi maulana muhammad salli rabbi ala nabi shafi'ina ahmad salli rabbi ala The people that in darkness dwelt, a glorious light have seen. Oh, God's prophet now to them has come, Muhammad al-Amin. 
We hail the Allah's prophet true of prophecy the seal oh we read with reverence the book thou was sent to reveal Sully. Sully, Rabbi, ala nabi, shafi'ina ahmad. Salli Rabbi ala Nabi Mawlana Muhammad For thou the burden didst remove Idolatry's fell rod Oh, and in thy day the idols fell before the sword of God. Salli, salli, Rabbi ala nabi, shafi bina ahmad. Salli Rabbi ala nabi Mawlana Muhammad To bless Arabia and the world Most surely thou was raised Who oh, will sing thy praises evermore? Our Mustafa the praise. Salli, salli, Rabbi ala nabi, shafi'ina ahmad. Oh, salli, Rabbi. Ala Nabi Mawlana Muhammad We watch this gentle fostering care The seed that thou hast sown All and trust to hear the world declare God's prophet has its own Salli, Salli Rabbi ala nabi Shafi'ina ahmad Salli Rabbi ala nabi Mawlana Muhammad Salli Rabbi ala nabi Shafi'ina Ahmad Salli Rabbi ala nabi Mawlana Muhammad Allah 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 
Allah Allahu Allahu Allah 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 Allahu Allah ya Rasul Allah Balahalullah Bikamali Kashafat Dujaya Bijamali Hasunat Jami Khisali Sallu Alayhi Wa Alihi Allahu Allah Allahu Allah Allahu Allah Ya Rasul Allah Aaj sik mitra di vadheri ye Kyon dildi udaya Sughaneri ye ye Lolon vich shok changeri ye Aaj nena nilaiya Kyon jhadiya Allahu Allah Allahu Allah Allahu Allah Ya Rasul Allah Mukh Chand Badar O Shashani Mathe Chamke Laat Nurani Kali Zulf Te Akmastani Makhmur Akhi in Madhariya Allahu Allah Allahu Allah Allahu Allah Ya Rasul Allah Subhanallah Ma Ajmalaka Ma Akmalaka Ma Ahsanaka Kithe Mehr Ali Kithe teri sana gustakh akhi Kithe ja aniya Allahu Allah Allahu Allah Allahu Allah Ya Rasul Allah Allahu Allah Allahu Allah Allahu Allah Ya Rasul Allah La ilaha illallah Allah Allah Muhammad Rasul Allah Ya Ya Mawlana Allah La ilaha illallah Allah Allah Muhammad Rasul Allah Ya Ya Mawlana Inna fil jannati nahran milaban Li aliyin wa husaynin wa hasan Li aliyin wa husaynin wa hasan La ilaha illa Allah, Allah, Allah Muhammad Rasulullah Ya ya maulana Ah, kullu man kana muhibba lahumu Yadkhulu al-jannata min ghayri hazan Yadkhulu al-jannata min ghayri hazan La ilaha illallah Allah, Allah 
محمد رسول الله يا مولانا أحب أهل البيت فرض عندنا وبهذا الحب لا نخش الميحان وبهذا الحب لا نخش الميحان لا إله إلا الله 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 محمد رسول الله يا مولانا الله لا إله إلا الله 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 محمد رسول الله يا مولانا اللهم صل وسلم على سيدنا محمد عليه وبارك عليه بارك الله فيكم الله يبارك فيكم سيدي Allah jazeekum bin khair alhamdulillah as soon as you mention the name of Sayyidina Muhammad and honor him salawatu rabbi wa salamu alayhi that uh, lightness and happiness uh, fills your heart Allah, Allah. Uh, thank you for sharing with us uh, these beautiful nashees mashallah inshallah Sidi will uh, I would like to uh, inshallah go into the the important happening of Isra and Mi'raj Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his holy book he said Subhanalladhi asra bi'abdihi laylan min al-masjid al-harami ila al-masjid al-aqsa alladhi barakna hawlahu linuriyahu min ayatina innahu wa al-sami'u al-basir Praise be to the one Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala praising himself by himself for the great happening the great feat the great event that that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is describing as Allah taking his Habib, his Abd, his real Abd, the only real perfect Abd, Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, the one who is in full ubudiyya and taslimiyya and submission to his Lord. Allah is saying, praise be to me for, for this event that I am taking my beloved, my, my Abd in a night journey so that we may have him see to show him some of our ayat our 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 ayat ayat Allah that's why when in in the Isra when Prophet was in the house of his cousin Ummu Hani that's where he uh, the angels came and took him and afterwards, he was about to leave and she asked him, where are you leaving? He says, I'm going to the haram. I'm going to tell them what happened to me. She said, they will never believe you. And she, in a narration that she, she held him by his sleeve, she said, don't go. They're not going to accept what you're saying. He said, I must go. And he left. And he went and he saw Abu Jahl. Abu Jahl, as soon as he saw Prophet and he saw something new in Prophet he saw that there was some something happening. So he said, what are the news to him? Any new news? And Prophet said, yes, I went from Mecca to Quds, to Jerusalem last night and I came back. And Abu Lahab, Abu Jahl was so happy with this news. He said, that's it. Islam is finished now. Who's going to believe this? Who's going to believe that a journey that takes a month on camel going and a month coming, the Prophet ﷺ is coming and saying, I went last night and I came back. He didn't even tell them about Mi'raj. There was no, not even hinted about Mi'raj that he went and ascended past the heavens. He just spoke about Isra and they all rejoiced. All the kuffar and the rejoice. This is it. Now we have a chance to all those who converted to bring them back to our faith, to Islam, to, from Islam back to polytheism. So as soon as they saw Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq coming, they said, Oh, come. let us, did you hear what your companion, Sahibuka, they said, your companion is saying, belittling Prophet. And they said, he said, what did he say? He said, he said that last night he went from here to Jerusalem and it takes us a month beating our camels hard to get there. And he's saying, he said, and see now the, the perfect i'tiqad, the perfect belief in Islam embodied in Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu anhu arda. The perfection of belief. He said, he didn't say, what did he say? Uh, about what was the issue. Let me go check. 
He said, إِنْ كَانَ قَالَهُ فَقَدْ صَدَقْ If he had said it, if, if he uttered any word, I am confirming, I'm stamping it as, as true. I am not... Uh, إِنْ كَانَ قَالَهُ the, the, the only condition he said, if he said it, if Prophet mentioned it, then it must be true. That's his only prerequisite. Didn't say how, what is it, let me go check. Uh, did he really say that? Did he, he said, if he said it, it's true. That's why he is Siddiq. He's the affirmer of truth. And his maqam is that of a Siddiq. Sayyidina Abu Bakr. If he said it, it must be true. And then when they pushed him further, what do you say? He say, I am sitting next to him and I am believing that the news of heavens and unseen is coming to him by an angel while I'm sitting next to him and I'm being khabar is sama the news of the heavens and you are telling me now that I must doubt him because of the news of Jerusalem so subhanallah this is this is very important to understand that before everything in Islam, before prayers, before before the, the 11 years before this happening, 11 years and three months, it is said, the, the Prophet ﷺ spent in Mecca teaching, teaching the Sahaba aqidah, belief, correct belief. Prayer came in Isra and Mi'raj, fasting later on in Medina. Ibadat, all that sort of stuff happened later. But in Mecca, he was teaching them the correct belief. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. So for us, it is very important to understand that not to take our beliefs lightly and not to use our opinion in matters that we don't know, that we're ignorant of, and not to let others who are maybe, uh, we, we don't have full trust in, to sway or change our beliefs. Because if you do so, it doesn't matter all your worship. If, you're, if you don't have the correct i'tiqad, the correct belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the correct belief in his prophets, what is right for them to say about them and what is not right to say about them. What is right to believe in their, in their person, what is not right to believe in them. And in this happening, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Isra and Mi'raj leaves no doubt as to the role the anbiya and messengers play in the spiritual life of a humanity, not just in their lives, not just while they're amongst their ummah guiding them, but in eternally until judgment day. Because we have been subjected to ideas and, and wrong understandings that prophets خلص, they're done they, they, they leave dunya and they are uh, they can't help anybody they, they are dead now and they are and there's uh, they don't have any role to play it's between you and Allah this is this is blindness upon blindness upon blindness of اعتقاد. doesn't matter how many times you pray because if you believe Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa is dead and cannot help anybody, your, your i'tiqad is, is at, uh, in danger. Your, your religion is in danger. Because you, how can sallallahu rabbi wa salamu alayhi, the one whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted him to go from here all the way in, in his physical being from here to Jerusalem to seven heavens and come back be now in his barzakh uh, uh, constrained and limited and unable to help the one who went past every angel past the stations of all the angels surpassed the chief of angels Sayyidina Jibreel in his nearness and closeness he is now, they want you to believe, he cannot help you. He cannot help his ummah. He's constrained, he's restrained, he's unable. All these wrongs, wrong understanding, they want us to believe now. 
And what's happening is it is killing, it's drying up our hearts from faith. It's drying up, uh, drying up our hearts from sweetness of faith that we, we follow religion mechanically. And we are in danger at the smallest problems or affliction to lose our religion altogether because we don't have that sweetness of taste. So what does the Isra and Mi'raj tell us, teach us in terms of Aqidah, in terms of the belief that Anbiya are Ahya? Prophet Sallallahu he said, Allahumma salli wa sallim wa bari alayhi, Al-Anbiya wa ahya'un fi quburihum yusallun. Anbiya are alive in their graves, making salah, praying. And the other hadith he confirmed in Isra and Mi'raj, he said, I saw my brother Musa, عند الكثيب الأحمر I saw him at the red hill or mountain كثيب in his grave praying he saw Sayyidina Musa Prophet ﷺ on Buraq he saw Sayyidina Musa on that journey praying in his grave then he arrives to where? he arrives to Jerusalem there Sayyidina Ibrahim and all the prophets, Musa alayhi salam, Isa alayhi salam, waiting for him in their form and praying behind him. And how how uh, do we did they uh, make the assessment that the, that the MBA were were present there in their form? Because Prophet he said, "Raitani fi jama'ati min al-anbiya." إلى أن قال وإذا إبراهيم in this hadith عليه السلام قائم يصلي أشبه الناس به صاحبكم that سيدنا إبراهيم when he was waiting for him he said the one who looks most like إبراهيم is your companion means Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم means he's seeing him in his appearance praying behind him and and also it was narrated regarding the description of their bodies that he said Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam فَأَمَّ عِيسَى فَأَحْمَرٌ جَعِدٌ I saw uh, Musa wa Isa wa Ibrahim, three prophets in that. And he described Sayyidina Isa as reddish in complexion and Ja'id means his curly, uh, his hair has curls. And أَمَّ Musa فَآدَم فَآدَم means he's, he's darker, darker complexion. So he's seeing their souls with dark complexion. He's seeing Sayyidina Isa, a reddish complexion, his soul. So this is this is from this, this happening of Isra and Mi'raj. And this is an important test for us as Muslims to understand to because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is showing, uh, he has showed you this ayah as a test for human beings. Yani one of the meanings of, of Isra and Mi'raj is that a lot of people after Prophet وسلم, came from Isra and Mi'raj and went to, to Mecca and described, there was a, quite a few Muslims that actually left Islam because of this happening. It's a huge test and imtihan because he's describing some things that the minds cannot understand. So, Ambiya, Sayyidina Musa in his grave, they say Ambiya uh, uh, are constrained and restricted. Sayyidina Musa in Jerusalem waiting for him to pray behind him, where Sayyidina Jibreel alayhi salam put him forward in front of all the Ambiya to show that he is the Imam of Ambiya. Then he goes up to on Mi'raj. And he goes to first heaven, he sees Sayyidina Adam again after seeing him in Jerusalem. Second heaven, he sees Sayyidina Isa and Sayyidina, uh, Sayyidina Isa and uh, Sayyidina Yahya. Third heaven, Sayyidina Yusuf. Fourth heaven, Sayyidina Idris. And like that, sixth heaven, Sayyidina Musa. Seventh heaven, Sayyidina Ibrahim. And Sayyidina Ibrahim was leaning his back on the uh, Bayt al-Ma'mur. This is very important for us to understand that Sayyidina Muhammad وسلم, is describing in this happening that Anbiya are free 
in their barzakh. Complete freedom. Free to come to earth and pray. Free to go to heavens as they like. They have full freedom. They have hayat barzakhiya higher than the hayat of shuhada. The martyrs who, if you deny that they're alive, it takes you out of the milla, it takes you out of, of religion because you're contradicting the Quran. Allah says about them, وَلَا تَقُولُوا لِمَنْ يُقَتَلُوا فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ أَمْوَاتٌ بَلْ أَحْيَاءٌ وَلَكِنْ لَا تَشْعُرُونَ Don't say, don't utter, don't utter a what? About those who are killed. Look at the... Uh, don't utter about those who are killed in the way of Allah. Don't say about them that they are dead. بَلْ أَحْيَاءٌ and mimbabi awla this is this is the when you don't have a shaykh when you don't have a teacher and you cut and paste from here and there and you you block your understanding uh, by yourself to yourself or you have somebody who doesn't understand blocking your understanding bal ahya allah says verily they are alive inda rabbihim yurzaqun who are those the shuhada tayyib allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala says الذين انعم عليه من النبيين والصديقين والشهداء والصالحين the highest rank is anbiya then siddiq then shuhada then pious salihin so it is like saying the third rank because of their service for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they've been granted, granted eternal life right after death right after they were killed but you cannot say about the highest rank that they have that same qualification. Because in, in Arabic, the eloquence of Arabic is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't have to specify that yes, shuhada are alive and siddiqeen are alive and anbiya are alive. No, he said shuhada are alive. You're supposed to understand from their eloquence that siddiqs are alive, that anbiya are alive. Like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about uh, treating the parents. Don't say off to your parents. Don't say, Allah said, don't say off. He didn't say don't hit them. Means you can hit them? Means you can throw them out? He doesn't have to say because he said the, the, the most... The, the most acceptable requirement, the least requirement is to say off is not acceptable. So of course you cannot treat them ill, you cannot push them, you cannot hurt them, you cannot even hurt their feelings. So Ambia, inshallah, we, 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 I would like to get back to Sidi Nadir, I, I, can, I got carried away with, the, <laughs> with this Khatira <laughs> scene. But of course, you have to believe in you have to have the correct belief towards your Prophet in order for you to benefit from Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu now as the companions benefited from his relation and connection, from his nisbah, from his ittisal, from his connection. In order to do that, you have today to correct your belief that your Nabi is alive in his maqam and his grave. Inshallah, we go back to Sidi Nadir to listen to some more praise. <laughs> Allah, Allah, Sidney. Uh, these are things that it's good to get carried away with. Now I'm seeing stuff. <laughs> yeah, these things need to be said. Uh, alhamdulillah, thank you so much for sharing uh, light and guidance. Uh, Allah, Allah, Allah. Uh. As a blinding light, you came to us Just as suddenly you went away The universe still resonates With echoes of Salalalay The universe still resonates With echoes of Salalalay 
Oh, flash of light in the flow of time. Sweet Medina, beloved of mine, I speak with you in broken words with a broken heart and a broken rhyme. My life is you, my love is you, connection to the Lord above is you, my means to earn his love is you, my cure from distress and dismay, the universe still resonates with echoes of salalale as a blinding light you came to us just as suddenly you went away the universe still resonates with echoes of more generous there's never been more beautiful was never seen i surrender at your doorstep all my dunya and my deen O oh, one who came to the merciful side Oh, when he said let there be light Convey my broken hearted plight That a glance of mercy be cast my way The universe still resonates With echoes of salalale As a blinding light you came to us just as suddenly you went away the universe still resonates with echoes of a subtle Allah Ya Nabi Allah, Ya Shafi Allah, Ya Habib Allah. Oh no, I have seen such beauty as thine. No dame has borne such a one so fine or created free of flaw as if by your own design may the Lord upon you send his peace salutations blessings that never cease and to us a gentle breeze that makes us weep our nights away the universe still resonates with echoes of salalale as a blinding light you came to us just as suddenly you went away the universe still resonates with echoes of sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Amade Rasul Bibi Amanake Pool O Jashne Amade Rasul Allahi Allah Bibi Amanake Pool Allahi Allah Jashne Amade Rasul Allahi Allah Bibi Amna ke pool Allahi Allah Allahi Allah Bolo Allahi Allah Allahi Allah Bolo Allahi Allah Jashne Amade Rasul 
Allahi Allah la ilaha illallah la ilaha illallah la ilaha illallah la ilaha illallah हो चेहरा मुस्तफा जब दिखाया गया चेहरा मुस्तफा हो चेहरा 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 मुस्तफा चेहरा मुस्तफा चेहरा मुस्तफा चेहरा मुस्तफा जब दिखाया गया झुक गए तारे और चांद शर्मा गया हर तरफ नूर की रोशनी छा गई मुस्तफा क्या मिले जिंदगी मिल गई अरे हलीमा तेरी गोद में आ गए दोनों आलम के रसूल अल्लाह ही अल्लाह दोनों आलम के रसूल अल्लाह ही अल्लाह जश्न आमद रसूल अल्लाह ही अल्लाह हक ला इलाह इलाह इल्लाह हो शादिया ने खुशी के बजाए गए शाद के नगमे सबको सुनाए गए हर तरफ शोर सल्ले हर तरफ शोर सल्ले अला हो गया आज पैदा हबीब खुदा हो गया फिर तो जिबरील ने भी ऐला की ये खुदा के हैं रसूल अल्लाह ही अल्लाह ये खुदा के हैं रसूल अल्लाह ही अल्लाह जश्न आमद रसूल अल्लाह ही अल्लाह हकला इलाहा इल्लाह होला इलाहा इल्लाह हकला इलाहा इल्लाह होला इलाहा इल्लाह अल्लाहुम्मा सल्ली वसल्लम वबारिक अले वाला अली सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वाला अली व सहबी व सल्लम अल्लाह ही स्प्लिट द मून इन टू एंड वाज मोर ब्यूटीफुल than two moons could ever hope to be oh mm, send peace upon him and his companions and upon his family salu Hold a while, let me tell of marvels that once appeared, shattering the cage of reason. He'll brace and contemplate at his birth. A thousand signs shone from east and shone from west. Fragrance filled the earth and air. Rebel demons turned to flee. Can such a light once have been? Not when another creature was 
can it be heaven's intent not to hear the ancient Leo pray my lord and grant your blessings always eternally upon Muhammad his companions and his family I said pray my lord and grant your blessings always eternally upon Muhammad his companions and his family did the angels not revere as they bowed to Adam's form he who was the purest heir of covenant and family through God's justice I am lost my actions give me away but his mercy to the world proclaims hope eternally though I fear my wayward ways still my confidence is sure for his bleeding in my case liberates me utterly. Upon Muhammad is come, companions and his family. I said, Pray, my Lord, and your blessings always eternally. Upon Muhammad is come, companions and his family. Ya Rabbi, salli ala Muhammadin wa ala. سادتنا عليه وصحبه الكرام يا ربي صلي على محمد وعلى سادتنا عليه وصحبه الكرام يقول مولاي صلي وسلم دائما ابدا على حبيبك خير الخلق كله يقول مولاي صلي وسلم دائما ابدا على حبيبك خير الخلق كله if he does not take my hand what reliance can there be on my works and on my prayers offered so distractedly and may blessings rest on Abu Bakr, Omar, Uthman, those who merited the Caliph's robes, as did great Ali, and upon the believing legions who came after them, faithful women, faithful men, Peace be on them constantly. Upon Muhammad is come, companions and his family. I said, Pray, my Lord, and grant your blessings always eternally. Upon Muhammad is come, companions and his family. I said, Pray, my Lord, and grant your blessings always eternally. Upon Muhammad his companions and his family MashaAllah Allah is it come barakatu Sidi Allah is it come Subhanallah Yani we our souls are uh, dancing in the love of Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam tonight اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد عدد من صلى عليه وصل وسلم على سيدنا محمد عدد من لم يصلي عليه مدد يا أولياء الله عينونا بعون الله وكونوا عوننا بالله مدد يا سيدي يا رسول الله Your Nabi is, is حي طري في قبره he is, he is now more even alive than we all humanity on earth now that are living and breathing are alive and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted to in this holy happening 
if we start a mirage wanted to leave no doubt except for those who with with weak faith and maybe wrong understanding that prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he is the most beloved to him the most honored one in creation the most respected glorified in creation is sayyidina muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam amongst creation he is the one allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted in dunya before akhirah to let his believe the believers the strong believers to understand that their nabi is allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted him more yani what he showed of what allah granted him uh, that may makes makes all humanity drunk is nothing compared to the reality of what allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted him and taking him instantly from here to past seven heavens and showing that he is the imam of anbiya in jerusalem then taking him in mi'raj and then uh, in a ceremonious happening that he's from one heaven to heaven meeting the inhabitants of those heavens until he reaches uh, Sidrat al-Muntaha, the farthest low tree. It is a tree that is uh, huge, that, that it, it encompasses the entire creation. That low tree, according to Sayyidina Abdullah, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad, Shaykh Abdullah uh, from Halab, he uh, he said that Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. He said that Prophet saw that tree. That as as how much we would love to see an angel in dunya, it's not. We we would have to wait to akhirah to to see the angels. But how much we would love to see angels uh, in their form? Only Prophet saw Allah was granted that honor, and Ambiya were granted that honor. But he said that on every leaf of that tree, there were angels in anticipation to look at the face of your Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They actually were excited to look at Habibullah. Yeah, what magnificent form Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had in Akhirah that even the angels were yearning to look at his face, at, at, at his light, at his anwar, what kind of form your Nabi must have had in Akhirah, in, in, in Malakut, that, that, that the entire inhabitants of heavens wanted that opportunity to meet him and greet him and look at him. We don't understand the maqam of Sayyidina Muhammad. We don't understand the qadr of Sayyidina Muhammad. We think he's just a, a human being like us. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on night of Isra and Mi'raj, He's showing you He's not like you. He's telling you He's not like you. When was the last time you went above the atmosphere? Forget about heaven. <laughs> when was the last time uh, the Allah's holy book and holy words with their power and magnificence descended on your heart? Your Nabi is, is unlike any other creation. We have to correct our belief to have reverence for him. And, and as much as we honor him, as Sayyidina Imam Busayri, leave that which the Christians have labeled their Prophet, which they, they made him partner with Allah. He said, leave that, that mistake, leave that problem, and then this, there's no limit. The field is open to praise him and honor him. Salawatu Rabbi wa salamu And he said in وَمَبْلَغُ الْعِلْمِ فِيهِ أَنَّهُ بَشَرٌ وَأَنَّهُ خَيْرُ خَلْقِ اللَّهِ كُلِّهِمِ عِلْمَ اللَّوْحِ وَالْقَلَمِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him, Imam Busayri said, gave him the knowledge of the tablet and of the pen. And here, our some of our Muslim brothers, they say this is shirk because they are saying that Prophet has the knowledge of the tablet in the second heaven or third heaven. The tablet where Aqdarul Khalaiq, the Qadar, the destinies of creation is written. 
some of our brothers they say uh, that's shirk that Imam Busairi is committing shirk by by saying that and there's a beautiful answer from uh, a scholar from uh, I think he's from Kuwait um, I think he's, he passed on now that when he when he saw that they're accusing he said you are mindless people he said you think Allah's knowledge is contained in a tablet contained in the second or third heaven this is Allah's knowledge the heavens are created the tablet is created the pen is created you think Allah's knowledge that you're saying because he let prophet he gave prophet the knowledge of the tablet because Imam Busairi is saying you're accusing him of shirk it's the knowledge of the tablet is is maybe not a drop in a drop of an ocean of endless oceans of Allah's knowledge that he gave again it is i'tiqad sidi sidi nadir it is very important to have the correct belief in our nabi in our prophet sallallahu in order for us to benefit from him we have to have respect Allah we Allah. have to have reverence we have to we have to we have to not accuse him of anything that's not befitting on him mm. or say anything about him that's not befitting to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted him and that comes from what from accompanying those who love him revere him honor him from those mashayikh from from muhibbin of nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam they will never say anything wrong in his right tonight uh, inshallah we uh, I think Wednesday night is the night of Isra and Mi'raj. We will continue, inshallah, talking about the Mi'raj more than the Isra. And uh, we, uh, inshallah, we, uh, I think uh, uh, we've covered uh, last week some uh, some things about Isra and Mi'raj tonight. And inshallah, by Wednesday, we will be able to finish. And we're very honored that, uh, Sidi Nadir, you, you joined us on uh, on this beautiful occasion to uh, honor and remember Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and mashallah I, I think people are uh, really appreciating uh, uh, your contribution tonight we would like to hear from you one more Nasheed CD and then uh, I would like to recite Kayfa Tarqa Ruqiyuka al with the intention of Mawlid and, uh, and then we will end up with Dua so I, I, if you can give us uh, Bring us back, inshallah, to that sweetness. Allah, 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 Allah. I will, um, if you permit me, share. Um, uh, one second. Let me, let me turn this off. If you permit me, I will share one uh, verse uh, in Urdu from a Naat. And then I will sing uh, my most favorite thing that I've ever written. Uh, it's called Moonrise. Um, inshallah, the, the, the Naat that I wanted to share with you. Um, is um, he says the the poet says um, the refrain of the knot is tu amire haram ma faqire ajam. Uh, you are the prince of, of 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 the sanctuary. I am the 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 poor and needy of of among the the unlearned. Tere gun aur yelab ma talab hi talab. Your praise and these lips, all I can do is crave. Tu atahi ata. You give and you give, and I err and I err. Where are you and where am I? This is going back to what you were saying about you know the the comparison uh, between you know people who say and he's like us. You know where are you? Where am I? Uh, <laughs> the verse in there that really struck me that I choke up when I sing is he says tu hai main sirf ehsas hoon. He says you are reality. I am but felt sensation. Ha, subhanallah. You are the ocean itself, and I am a thirst that has lost its way. My home is on a pile of dust, right? And referring to, to, to this world, my home is on a pile of dust, right? Or teri rah guzar. And what you pass on your way to your home, Sidratul Muntaha. Allah, Allah. Tu kuja man kuja. Like, I am here. Tu kuja man kuja. You're passing <laughs> on your way home, right? Allah, Allah, Allah. You know, like, you're right. Like, you know, when was the last time you went? Allah, Allah. <laughs> <laughs>
personally. La hola wa la quwwata illa billah. Some people, you know. Inshallah. Uh, 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 this 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 song that I'm singing is the title track of Inshallah the next album. It's called Moonrise. And uh, people who sing Talal Badru Alayna, this song is about Talal Badru Alayna. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. When the sun's been gone for far too long And the night starts closing in And you don't know why you can't see the moon And the chills are settling in and a darkness stirring in your heart robs you of your peace. Don't you fear a thing, my friend? Oh, the beloved is within. Oh, oh, plant the blessed sapling of his love deep within your soul. Bid farewell to your ego and to what it asks of you. Let your heart then grow in nobleness as it welcomes him. Like a yathrib changed to Taiva not too long ago. Oh, on the day when there shone a bright full moon On a desert city in the early afternoon Habib Allah, beloved of God The reason that a calf embraced a noon All the troubles that I had gone away now The blessings that have come here to stay now So praise the Lord and beat the drums Sing Talal Badru Alayna Oh, oh, oh On the day when ashes go to ashes And dust goes to dust And you hear the heavy footfall of friends who fulfill the trust you realize you'd been asleep all your life my friends now you're back in the reality of ruse a lust oh oh yes we've been told that it's a dark and lonely place but the lovers of the chosen one are granted amazing grace. So have no fear of being there if you've been one of them. Many angels dance as they hear you sing when you see his blessed face. Just like the day when the shone a bright full moon on a desert city in the early afternoon. Habib Allah, beloved of God, the reason that a calf embraced the noon, all the troubles that I had gone away now, the blessings that have come are here to stay now. So praise the Lord and beat the drums. Sing Talal Badru Alayna Talal Badru Alayna. On the day when we are all standing naked before the one and the scorching rays of blinding truth shall tie illusion's tongue 
And nafsi nafsi is the call of every heart and soul. Our only hope is for that moon to eclipse the sun. Oh, as mankind moves from one to another, divinely sanctioned guide. And evil melts away with fear, it's got no place to hide. On that day as he arrives upon the scene, my friend, may you rise up and sing out loud, cause God is on his side. Like the day when the show on a bright full moon on a desert city in the early afternoon. Habib, love, beloved of God, the reason that I can't embrace the new, all the troubles that I had, gone away now, the blessings that have come, here to stay now, so praise the Lord and beat the drums, to sing ta-da, ba-da-do, ba-da, now what I do, and the show on the bright full moon. On a desert city in the early afternoon Habiba love, beloved of God The reason that I can't embrace the noon All the troubles that I have gone away now The blessings that have come are here to stay now So praise the Lord Sing ta ba طرع البدر علينا من ثنيات الوداع ما شاء الله سيدي ما سبحانه وتعالى grant you توفيق with your new album beautiful ما شاء الله الله يبارك فيكم سيدي ما شاء الله everybody enjoying your صلوات النشيد we would love to continue but I think we're almost an hour and twenty minutes in so الحمد لله like إن شاء الله to this this قصيدة was one of the favorite قصائد of شيخ عبد الله فايز دغستاني and and they used to recite it also as a short مولد so with your permission I would like to read a few few verses from it and then we will end up with dua الحمد لله إن شاء الله سيدي صلي يا ربي ثم سلم على من هو للخلق رحمة وشفاء صلي يا ربي ثم سلم على من هو للخلق رحمة وشفاء كيف ترقى رقيك الأنبياء يا سماء ما طاولتها سماء لم يساوك في علاق وقد حال سنام سنام كدونهم وسناء صل يا ربي ثم سلم على من هو للخلق رحمة وشفاء أنت مصباح كل فضل فما تصدر إلا عن ضوئك الأضواء لك ذات العلوم من عالم الغيب ومنها ومنها لآدم الأسماء صل يا ربي ثم سلم على من هو للخلق رحمة وشفاء ومحيا كالشمس منك مضيء أسفرت عنه ليلة غراء ليلة المولد الذي كان للدين سرور بيومه سرور بيومه وازدهاء وتوالت بشرى الهواتف أنقاد ولد المصطفى وحق الهناء طالع البدر علينا 
من ثانيات الوداع وجاب الشكر علينا ما دعا لله داع Oh, what a grand, oh, what a favor Allah has gifted this nation by sending us His beloved upon Him endless salutations. Salah al-Badru alayna من ثانيات الوداع وجاب الشكر علينا ما دعا لله دع سيدنا يا حبيبي يا محمد يا عروس الخفيقين يا مؤيد يا ممجد يا إمام القبلتين طلع البدر علينا من ثانيات الوداع وجاب الشكر علينا ما دعا لله دعا Rejoice then with Allah's mercy And rejoice with Allah's favor If you follow Prophet Muhammad You should know that you have been favored. طالع البدر علينا من ثانيات الوداع وجب الشكر علينا ما دعا لله دعا سيدنا دفت أنت شمس أنت بدر أنت نور فوق نور أنت إكسير وغالي أنت مصباح الصدور طالع البدر علينا من ثانيات الوداع وجاب الشكر علينا ما دعا لله داع Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad ala Muhammad Ya Rabbi, our, our actions are weak, they're not befitting They're coming from weak, sinful one Not Sidi Nadir, I'm talking about this one But you are, you are, you are Akramul Akrameen, Arhamul Rahimin, Tawwabun Rahim Grant us, Ya Allah, in, in, in this holy month, grant us from your endless oceans of Maghfirah This is the month of Maghfirah Grant us to be befitting, to be called Ummat from Ummat al Habib sallallahu alaihi wasallam, grant us to be with with him as you granted us the honor of La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah in dunya. Grant us the honor of to be accompany your beloved Habib in akhirah. Ya Allah, wa ma dalik ala Allah bi It's not too much for you, Ya Rabbi. You you are akramul akramin, arhamul rahimin. And we are asking, inshallah, anyone who is attending these events or wanted to attend. And Ummat al-Habib in, in its entirety to be granted, inshallah, safety from hellfire, to be granted, inshallah, and, and those who are not Muslims to be guided to Islam, Ya Rabbi. We wish everybody to, in, to, to taste the sweetness of, to be a follower of Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. May Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala grant us that honor. And thank you, Sidi Nadir, again. Barakallahu feekum. For, for, enjoying, uh, for joining us and enlightening us, our, uh, our gathering. Thank, Thank you for all who, who, who have joined us. And inshallah, Wednesday night we'll have another event, Thursday, and hopefully next Saturday also we'll have another Know Your Prophet night. Inshallah. And pray for us. Allah grant us continuity in this effort, inshallah. inshallah. Uh, would you like to add anything, Sidi? Some dua.
Siddi, uh, I have I have nothing to add. Uh, just you know, I mean, <laughs> the idea is you know when you say know your prophet, you know, uh, you know when when we say Ihdina Sirat al Mustaqim, the Prophet Sallallahu is the Sirat al Mustaqim. No. Uh, the idea is you know if we have to be him, then we have to love him to be him. But you can't love him if you don't know him, and you can't know him if you don't seek him, and you can't seek him if you don't sit with the people you know who who embody his character who, and teach about him. So know, when you say know him to love him. To inshallah be him. Amen. 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 Fatiha alayhi al qabul. Salli ala Muhammad. Salli ala Muhammad. Thank you. Inshallah, I will uh, leave uh, a nasheed for you to enjoy and the, those who want to stick around. But for us, inshallah, we, we, we say assalamu alaikum. ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته السلام الله تعالى وبركاته اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على من اسمه سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا أحمد صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا حميد صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا محمود صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا أحي صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا وحي صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا محي صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا حاشي صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا عاقي صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا قاها صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا ياسين صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا قاهر صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا مطهر صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا طيب صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا سيد صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا رسول صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا نبي صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا رسول الرحمة صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا قيم صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا جامع صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا مقتف صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا مقف صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا رسول الملاحم صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا رسول الراحة صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا كامل صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا إكلي صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا مدثر صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا مزمل صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا عبد الله صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا حبيب الله صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا صفي الله صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا نجي الله صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا كريم الله صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا خاتم الأنبياء صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا خاتم الرسل صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا محي صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا منجن صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا مذكر صلى الله عليه وسلم 
سيدنا ناصر الله الله عليه وسلم سيدنا منصور الله عليه وسلم سيدنا نبي الرحمة الله عليه وسلم سيدنا نبي التوبة الله عليه وسلم سيدنا حريص عليكم الله عليه وسلم سيدنا معلوم الله عليه وسلم سيدنا شهيد الله عليه وسلم سيدنا شاهد الله عليه وسلم سيدنا شهيد الله عليه وسلم سيدنا مشهور الله عليه وسلم سيدنا بشير الله عليه وسلم سيدنا مبشر الله عليه وسلم سيدنا نذير الله عليه وسلم سيدنا منذر الله عليه وسلم سيدنا نور الله عليه وسلم سيدنا سراج الله عليه وسلم سيدنا مصباح الله عليه وسلم سيدنا هدى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا مهدي الله عليه وسلم سيدنا منير الله عليه وسلم سيدنا داعي الله عليه وسلم سيدنا مدعو الله عليه وسلم سيدنا مجيب الله عليه وسلم سيدنا مجاب الله عليه وسلم سيدنا حفيد الله عليه وسلم سيدنا عفو الله عليه وسلم سيدنا ولي الله عليه وسلم سيدنا حق الله عليه وسلم سيدنا قوي الله عليه وسلم سيدنا أمير الله عليه وسلم سيدنا مأمون الله عليه وسلم سيدنا كريم الله عليه وسلم سيدنا مكرم الله عليه وسلم سيدنا مكين الله عليه وسلم سيدنا متين الله عليه وسلم سيدنا مبين الله عليه وسلم سيدنا مؤمل الله عليه وسلم سيدنا وصول الله عليه وسلم سيدنا ذو قوة الله عليه وسلم سيدنا ذو حرمة الله عليه وسلم سيدنا ذو مكانة الله عليه وسلم سيدنا ذو عز الله عليه وسلم سيدنا ذو فضل الله عليه وسلم سيدنا مطاع الله عليه وسلم سيدنا مطيع الله عليه وسلم سيدنا قدم صدق الله عليه وسلم سيدنا رحمة الله عليه وسلم سيدنا بشرى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا غوث الله عليه وسلم سيدنا غيث الله عليه وسلم سيدنا غياث الله عليه وسلم 
سيدنا نعمة الله صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا دية الله صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا عروة وثقى صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا صراط الله صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا صراط مستقيم صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا ذكر الله صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا سيف الله صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا حزب الله صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا النجم الثاقب صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا مصطفى صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا مجتبى صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا منتقى صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا أمي صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا مختار صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا أدين صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا جبار صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا أبو القاسم صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا أبو الطاهر صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا أبو الطيب صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا أبو إبراهيم صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا مشفع صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا شفيع صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا صالح صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا مصلح صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا مهيمن صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا صادق صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا مصدق صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا صدق صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا سيد المرسلين صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا إمام المتقين صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا قائد الغر المحددين صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا خليل الرحمن صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا بر صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا مبر صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا وجيه صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا نصيب صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا ناصح صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا وكيل صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا متوكل صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا كفيل صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا شفيق صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا مقيم السنة صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا مقدس صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا روح القدس صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا روح الحق صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا روح القسم صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا كاف صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا مكتاف صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا بالغ صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا مبلغ صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا شاف صلى الله عليه وسلم 
سيدنا عين الغر صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا سعد الله صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا سعد الخلق صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا خطيب الأمم صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا علم الهدى صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا كاشف الكرم صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا رافع الرتب صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا عز العرب صلى الله عليه وسلم سيدنا صاحب الفرج صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم يا ربي بجاه نبيك المصطفى ورسولك المرتضى طهر قلوبنا من كل وصف يباعدنا عن مشاهدتك ومحبتك وامتنا اللهم على السنة والجماعة والشوق لا نقاء وصلى الله على سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا